Hello everyone, Rexlin here. In this video, I'll be breaking down the movesets of the boss Riot. Riot may be a problem for some players because of its fast telegraphs and the notorious laser face. It's the kind of fight where you want to defeat the boss as soon as possible before things start getting worse for the player. But don't worry, the good news is that Riot will be removed from the Phantom Pain Cage rotation in the Fallen Star update. And let us begin the guide. Riot has two phases, a normal phase and a final phase, on top of two scripted laser sequences triggered by a certain health threshold. So let's start with the normal phase. At the start of the fight, Riot can use one of two attacks at you, and this is its favorite beam attack. It does this at medium to long range, so you can always anticipate and prepare to dodge it. The attack is telegraphed by a red tracking beam. The move is fairly quick, so be on your guard at all times. This is the other attack that it may perform at any range. When it raises its weapons, it's about to do an artillery strike. Multiple AoEs will fall on random locations around your character, so prepare to be on the move or trigger Matrix with it. If you're having difficulty with the AoEs, another trick is to switch characters after the attack and all of the AoEs will fall on their last location. This is its incendiary ball attack. It has a bit of tracking and be wary that it'll explode into a burning AoE field even if you dodge it, so a good strategy is to stay close to it and dodge to the side to avoid the projectile altogether. And this is one of two of its melee attacks, the Shotgun Blast. Riot will pause for a bit, and its weapon muzzles will flash, and that's when you dodge. This is the other melee attack that Riot can perform. It starts with a vacuum and it'll knock your character back while it leaps away from you. The telegraph is quite short so pay attention to it when you're engaging in melee. If you get hit by it, be prepared to start dodging its beam attacks while you close the distance again. Riot can also spawn 5 flaming jitter bombs. These explode on contact immediately unlike the normal jitterbombs, so one way to eliminate their threat is to dodge through them. And finally, Riot can leave the battlefield momentarily and starts placing moving laser pillars at you. This can happen at any time during the normal phase, so a good way to deal with this is to rotate your camera frequently to get your bearings and to see incoming lasers. Watch out for Riot's return as well because most likely it'll start spamming its beam attack at you from a distance. As for dodging the lasers, it's simpler than you think. The only pattern you need to look out for is this converging one. Just dodge the second the moment it appears. The rest of the lasers are mostly reaction based. And that is all the moves for the majority of the fight, which is the normal phase.
Riot will also perform scripted laser sequences at about 22 and 15 HP gauge. Just remember to look out for the converging pattern and don't forget to swap characters if you're running out of dodge. Remember that you can also QTE your healer to top up your health during it via 3 pings or matrix. And that concludes the normal phase. The final phase begins when Riot goes into a berserk state at about 8 HP gauge. Two laser bits will be permanently floating around the map, scorching the ground as it passes and leaves behind a flaming field, so be careful where you stand. AoEs will also begin to appear at a character's location at random, whereas Riot itself will only have 3 moves in this phase. This is pretty much the same as his shotgun move in the normal phase, just watch out for the sparks and dodge right after it. When Riot charges up like this, it will release a constant stream of flame in front of it which deals moderate damage over time. And whenever you're not at melee range, you can expect Riot to always leap to you. Remember to dodge because it's also a storm attack. As you can see, the final phase gets a bit chaotic with all the damage over time effects so the best way is to end this fight as soon as possible. If you have difficulty defeating Riot quickly, you could always lead it to the empty side of the arena away from the burning trails, and engage it there. And that concludes all of Riot's moves. The best approach in my opinion is to always engage it at melee range and anticipate the shotgun and vacuum knockback attack. As for the laser sequences, always be on the move along the arena and rotate your camera to get a better view of your surroundings and watch out for the converging pattern. We've come to the end of this video and I hope that it has been helpful to you in understanding this boss's mechanics. Essential links are in the description below and consider leaving a like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.
いい戦いでしたね。